Christ, but you, we've just derailed the vision, you better talk to them about oh, yeah, yeah. an idea of what's actually happening. Mate. Welcome back to the channel guys and girls. Today we're at Speedy Services here in Canvas Lang. Now we're at the front of the building, the customer entrance, and they've got a says rail service centre over there. But when we come off the motorway, all we did was clock the back of this place and there's loads of plant line about it, loads of things to hire. So it's, people can hire for like for a construction site or for better to sell at home. So the windows at the website, it's got the Glasgow Superstore, it's got the rock nails there, I'm sure to the weekend. A couple of blogs on how to put up a shelf and how to paint a front door. Which is kind of common noise to everybody, but if you're not sure on that, you can watch that. So we'll click on the menu, we'll go to hire, pick building works, pick plan, go for dumpers. So we'll just have a wee nosy reading the webpage loading up, it's taking this time. So here we've got the, the loading dumper diesel at 367 a week, and you've got a wee mini dumper petrol on 62. So I've got different wee dumpers there. So I have noticed that the car's parked up on the curb. Now I'm planning to get up that way and I'll need to go on the road. So if I was going to walk with the bike, I'd have no chance to get by that. So I'm going to see it. So I'm in there, right on the path, not even left a space at all. So this is going to be disabled. There's a couple of dog walkers walk by the road and they've got to basically walk on the grass because of these people thinking you park up on the pavement. And it's not just here, it's the whole Industrial estate right down the road. So what does we'll take a wee nose up the top? So as I said I can't walk up this way because the car's all selfishly parked on it. But I was gonna bike it in a way but it's still quite selfish all the people doing it. Pavements if I walk no no parking. So we've got this real service centre but I've seen all the plants at the back but it's we cannot I feel if we can get a wee nosy up on the grass here. So you can see in a bit. You can see in there, you can't really see much. A wee forklift parked in front, a couple of shelves. But you can see right through to the back. So we're going to tell them to put a drone over. I think they'll be too happy about it. I'm just going to find out a wee bit more of the place. Can't really see much down the back there at all, just a barrier. Let's see if we can speak to somebody. See this car plant here. No, I'm not sure what that does. Another one sitting there. How you doing, buddy? Just to let you know I'm going to be putting a wee drone over. Talking about business and stuff, just to let you know. So I'll be speeding that. I'll put in, he's got a job, he's got a general assistant. You're looking for that? Any other jobs you're looking for? Because I put that in my video as well. Anyway, he's like a job. It's just that. It's just that. It's just a general assistant available. We've just derailed the vision, you better talk to them. Oh, they'll be there. Alright, you know? oh, so two different bits like? It's just the rail side. We're all part of speedy, obviously. Aye, right, two aye, different this departments. Specific. What do they? Yellow things, they? The big yellow machines. Just, see the, the clips? They cut the sleeper to the, to the rail. The railway line? Oh, all right, that's what the first. What is next door, that's the plant side? That's all the plant and plant tools, survey, lifting, that, whatever and else. So that's open, to, that open to the public and as well as like construction? Or just for the aye, businesses? See if they, aye, down there, aye. they'll do cash hires and whatnot. Too. This is purely just a bit really? of stuff. Uh, it's because that bit was quiet and this bit was the only bit you can see if people going about, that's where I come in. Aye, see, everyone's in the inside or in the back. Aye, ah, right. But if you don't need to speak to anybody reference that, if you go down to that front, so right. the main bit along there, They'll be able to answer your question better. Alright. I just basically talk about it briefly and then a wee flyover, see what the location's like. Get a wee 360 for you. Alright, buddy. Since so the enemy's alarm, they see a drone. Cheers, pal. I just put it in and then we'll sort it out here. Right, cheers, pal. So look at them there for on the railway line. Oh, I suppose they're actually on the railway line, you look at it down there. So we'll not hang about, we've got chopper up. Staff very friendly. So we managed to find a space in between all these parked cars on the pavement. Take Speed off. of service looks like for above. Home point updated. So you see the front of the building. Sun's quite blind. It's quite a big building. 
a little bit higher so I'm not disturbing the daily routine. Let's work over there, see if work is in there. The vehicles. Got a worker straight across me staring at the drone, but he's not saying nothing. So this is the railway side here, and that's the plan higher side for that side. So we'll take the windows here at the back, but we'll check the roof and the solar panels. Well, it looks like skylights, but the sun is blind on my screen, it's quite hard to see. I take it there are no solar panels, there are sky, skylights. So we've got higher, we can check the back. As you can see, like loads of plant. They go a wee bit higher because the trees in front of me. They go a wee bit further back. It's quite limited because of the height of my, You see the M74, that's the Glasgow to Kaleo Road, going that way to Kaleo. So we'll check out the plant. We'll zoom in. So lots of generators with lights on them, light towers. It's really hard to see my screen. As much as it's not that sunny, my screen's dead dull. I think I'm up about the brightness one, I think. Never had this problem before. Let's check over there. Remember this guy's shouting. Shouting somebody called Will. I'm over there, but it's not coming towards me. So we're back to the plant higher. So I'll start editing this and I'll recognise everything. But it's just when you're flying up the joint. We've got a guy watching me on his phone, probably phoning inside. So I need to keep my eye on the drone when I'm doing it as well. Well, I've got to keep my eye on the drone anyway, but... I've got to show I'm not staring at it, but it's basically static. As I zoom out with the, the building. The wheel is over here. So this is the railway side again, so there's lots of light towers here, boat lift. I'm not sure where that is. Just a speedy container. Not sure there are generators and cabins or that. Hey pal, what's up? Actually, we can fly 120 meters. Aye, uh, Andy Pau, aye. You just go a bit in front. Go a bit of and just kind of follow me about the day and things like that. I've seen it on YouTube. I know you're not looking at it. Alright. You stay at a police station, it's not anything. I've never done a police station, I kind of just kind of stick to businesses, interesting places, kind of like fitness stadiums and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Chopper back in the middle because I was a wee bit distracted by the guy talking, but he was friendly enough, and the drone was kind of right in front of me, so it wasn't a bit hard to see. But I did distract me doing my footage. So, what I'll do is I'll take a 360 to the place before I bring them back down. So, the 360 people on my Facebook page, you can see it in 3D and can I zoom about and you'll open the photo, it's quite cool. So, that my last drone. So, I'll just take basically an hour we fly over. Then we'll get the full, we'll try and get the full yard in one shot. Bit of bed pressing for there. I'll need to come back this way because I kind of keep the line of sight by going the further. So we'll take this side and try and get the full shot. That's your speedy services and canvas lying on the one shot. So we'll bring Chopper back down and we'll stash the Chopper in. That right, good fun, pal. What do you mean it's named after you've been called Speedy? Landing. 
for the staff. Gave him 9 out of 10. Guy was attitude was great, brilliant. Gave him very helpful. Gave us a bit more knowledge of the place. They got the full marks, but brilliant attitude for him. Going with the roof. Roof's clean, no solar panels though. But getting 9 out of 10 for the size of the building has been kept well maintained, kept clean. For the site layout, everything was stacked nice and neatly. So there's nothing around the front, everything's around the back. So nicely kind of stacked in its correct position. So got to get 9 out of 10 for that as well. So basically for an overall, speedy 9 out of 10. So for the chopper ring in this one, I'm basically going to stash it on this cone. Under the cone, I mean. So watch the staff all kind of watching me. Um, staff are all watching me with the smokers bit, so I'm not going to put it the cone. But I'll go put this sign over here. Don't mind if the staff are viewing it and they, they one of the viewers and they want to get it, but no, they're no unique viewer. So I'm going to put this goods in sign into the wee pole. Put it right in there, stash it in, so good luck with that one. If you like that video guys, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.